Hi there, YouTube. Dominic the Zendesk guy, Dominic the CX guy. Welcome to another video. Today's topic is going to be how do I merge Ticket and Zendesk? Before we begin, please subscribe to this channel. Please uh, like this video and comment if you want to see some special content. I'd love to get back to you or create another video. So very quick intro about me. Maybe you know me, maybe you don't. Uh, Zendesk consultant for the past eight years, Zendesk partner for the past two years. I have been subcontracted by Zendesk to work on many, many projects, and I'm here to share some of that knowledge. So how do I merge tickets in Zendesk? Well, this is one of your questions, and it's a pretty easy one. And uh, I know how, well, potentially boring it is to read it online. Uh, so I'm just making this video where I show you exactly how to do it. So for those of you who are unfamiliar, uh, in Zendesk, when you, uh, when you receive a ticket, uh, you can uh, merge it into another one. So you don't necessarily have to deal with the same type of request more than once, okay? So imagine that a customer is reaching out to you via phone, and then they are also reaching out via email because they're very impatient. And then they're maybe also requesting a chat. So there's this, there are the same customer and reaching out in, on, in three separate tickets, right? So each of these instances creates a tickets and tickets and ticket in Zendesk. So if it's related to the same issue, then you'll have three tickets just lying around waiting for, you know, to waiting to be picked up by agents. And there's no need to, yeah, deal with it individually, deal with each ticket individually. Rather, you just merge them into one and you just treat it as the same issue, which rightfully so it should be treated as, um, especially in large teams, right? So if you have somebody working in, uh, for example, uh, talk so it's answering the phone and then you have someone else working in chat or and then you have someone else answering uh, tickets via email uh, via the email channel then you can potentially have this three agents three people uh, working on the same type of request for that impatient customer which well I don't know it's you understand them if they're stressed they're stressed they need to find whatever they're looking for and they want it fast they want it pronto so I'm going to show you exactly how to deal with that and just merge it into a single ticket. It cannot be done automatically. It has to be done by a, an agent manually. So let me share my screen so we can get going. So hopefully you can see my screen. I am on my test account and I am here. Okay, so let's go to some tickets. So let's go to my my tickets. No, let's go to unassign actually, and just take some random tickets. Okay, so let's see. This one conversation with Dom and conversation with there. Okay, so let's open this one, and then let's open this one as well. So we open two tickets. Notice that I've opened them in these tabs right here, right? So I don't necessarily need to open them in a new tab inside my browser. Rather, I have this. Um, other navigation from Zenas directly here, so it doesn't clutter my yeah, my navigation in my browser. So this is one conversation and then this is the other, right? So what I can do here is uh, this ticket, which has its ID number 338. Yes, it's very important to remember the ID of a ticket. Otherwise, you cannot merge a ticket because you have to remember which one of those tickets, uh, which one of the tickets is related to one another so you can merge them. So this one is 338 and this one is 332, okay. They, these are asking for the same issue or they are treating the same issue or they have been raised be to, uh, because of the same issue. So we would just want to merge them and yeah, just deal with just one ticket instead of two or three or five, okay? So in order to do that, so let's say this is the main issue. I want to keep this ticket as the main issue and I want to merge it with this other one which is just related to it. So I'm just going to go here and the three dots on the right hand side. And I have here an option merge into another ticket. Okay, so now it asks me like, enter the ticket ID to merge it into. Okay, so this one is 332. And the other one, if you remember is 338. So I'm going to type in here 338. Okay, so Merge. And now it's going to ask, you're about to merge ticket number 332 into ticket 338. Okay. And this is giving me a short outline of what is this is about. 
uh, requester NCCs see this ticket, requester NCCs can see this comment. Okay, so they can see this comment. I can uncheck this if I don't want to do that because yeah, it depends on how you want things to be set up. Confirm and merge. And here we go. So we get this message here. The request was closed and merged into ticket number 338. I can always have a reference to the other ticket. And yeah, I can see what this was about. Okay. So it's amazing. I'm just going to refresh my screen. So I'll have a clear visibility on what has happened. Okay. So this is my closed ticket. So this is now gone. And now I have this other one, which I'm still, it's still in new status, it's still unsolved, and I still can, yeah, treat it as if uh, it's a single case and just solve it individually. So, uh, yeah, I hope this made sense. And this is, uh, yeah, easy peasy. I, this is what I say. This is what's easy peasy. I will see you in the next video. Bye.